This is a News 10 News Break. Good morning, I'm meteorologist Everett Lau. Today's a day to keep an eye on the sky, especially as we get into the evening hours. That's so when we could see some strong to severe thunderstorms. The Storm Prediction Center does have all of the Wabash Valley in a slight risk for those severe thunderstorms. So let's take a look at Futurecast. We could have some rain showers move through this morning. That's not expected to be severe. And in fact, Futurecast has those weakening as they approach the state line. So as we go into the afternoon, those kind of fizzle out. Now, Futurecast does show some breaks in the clouds. If that happens, that will help fuel our chances for some of those stronger storms. It'll kind of give the atmosphere a little bit of energy, but we should also catch some dry time today. Not going to be an all day washout. As we get into the evening, that's when Futurecast shows those thunderstorms starting to bubble up, eventually organizing into a line of thunderstorms as we get towards 8 o'clock this evening, and then it'll race off to the east. So by the time we get past midnight, all this activity will be winding down. Damaging wind gusts will be the main concern, and of course, Storm Team 10 will be here to keep you updated should any of those storms turn severe. Otherwise, a breezy and warm day with highs topping out in the upper 70s. Those wind gusts could be as high as 30 miles per hour. Then for tonight, cooler. The sky will clear out once those showers and storms move out, so we'll drop down to 55. Still seeing wind gusts as high as 30 miles per hour. Tomorrow going to be another breezy day, but cooler. A little more seasonable with highs in the upper 60s. A dry day on Monday, but then more rain showers arrive on Election Day on Tuesday for those of you in Indiana. And then we'll see cooler temperatures to finish up the week.